Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday the 12th. I'm James Spann. Guess what? It's going to rain today. Let's check some of the sky cam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Birmingham sky cam looking over toward the Children's Hospital of Alabama. A little light rain falling there. Also some rain falling in Trussville. But up in Jasper, the road there is dry. They have been uh, rain-free for at least a few hours. But here's the setup. A new trough over New Mexico, and that will be rolling east, enhancing the rain again today across the state. Like, we really need that. Uh, That's the radar at 5.04, and at that point, the bulk of the rain was near or east of I-65. But you'll see a big mass of rain increasing west of the state today, rolling in here uh, by midday. Temperatures have not budged much overnight. Uh, 48 for Birmingham, the cold spot. Fort Payne, they've got 37. And like recent days, we won't get out of the 50s today. Around the nation, uh, it's pretty cold in the west. uh, But overall, temperatures not that bad for mid-February. Flash flood watch remains in effect for the southern two-thirds of Alabama, Mississippi, much of Georgia. Uh, For Alabama, that's from Interstate 20 South, so it does include Birmingham. And uh, off to the west, look at the winter storm warnings in effect for parts of the Texas Panhandle and western Oklahoma. Well, they've had some thunder snow overnight in advance of that big trough. In terms of severe weather, we're cool and stable up here, so maybe some thunder, but uh, no severe weather activity for the northern half of the state. The risk is confined to the immediate Gulf Coast region, from near New Orleans, over through Biloxi, Mobile, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City, and Apalachicola. And then tomorrow, a slight risk for North Florida and South Georgia. Additional rain like we need it. This is valid through Sunday morning. One to two inches here. Heavy your totals down in southeast Alabama. You know, some people down in Geneva and Houston counties, they've picked up over uh, seven to eight inches of rain with this thing since it started Sunday. All right, model fans, let's look. This is the 06 ZGFS, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. There's your big trough to the west. Down below that, rain is increasing over Louisiana and eastern Texas and Arkansas and Mississippi. This is tonight at midnight. The surface low is near Thomasville, and the heavier rain should be pushing east at that point. Sure looks like the, the main window for the heavier rain will be from about noon until 9 o'clock tonight. Or say noon to midnight, that 12-hour window. And then after midnight, things begin to taper off. Then tomorrow, the surface low is near Asheville, North Carolina. We've still got wraparound moisture. It's not going to be a pretty day. Cloudy, drizzly, but the really significant rain should be mostly out of here. And finally, on Thursday, hey, a brighter day. The sun comes back. The afternoon high should be in the upper 50s, and Friday looks good, mostly sunny, although... We've got a cold front coming in. Notice how the northern part of the state begins to cool down. Really, there's two fronts, a polar front and an Arctic front. And uh, the front should be coming through Friday in dry fashion, uh, partly sunny. For Birmingham, we might hit 60. For Huntsville, their high might be in the 40s. And then everybody goes cold on Saturday. There's that big trough this thing has advertised for a while. And look at the cold shot coming in here. Uh, The 540 line plunges down into the Gulf. Now, this run is dry. We have seen other runs that print enough moisture for a few snow showers and snow flurries and maybe even, you know, enough snow to get the ground white. Uh, The models have been waffling, but this run looks pretty dry, just cold. And if this is right, we won't get out of the 30s here. I would be about 37 or 38 with a strong north wind. A very blustery day. Let's check the European very similar. It's dry. It's very cold. Uh, in fact, uh, if this is right, up in Huntsville, they won't get above freezing in the Tennessee Valley. So, uh, you know, but understand we've seen other runs that do have a little swath of moisture coming in here. So we're not going to change the forecast. We'll mention a chance of uh, light snow flurries or snow showers on Saturday, but no significant accumulation 
Again, that's where we stand now, and we'll just watch things as we get close. But clearly, the screaming deal here is this cold air coming in. But it's a very quick pop. It's a quick hitter. It's not going to stay long. Uh, Sunday. Now, Sunday morning is going to be cold. That uh, uh, high will be right on top of it, so it's going to be a pretty good freeze. We'll be down there uh, probably 20 to 25 colder spots go in the teens. But then Sunday, we warm up to near 50. And uh, we note the for our friends that watch this up in the northeast United States, this run of the GFS does not show a big nor'easter affecting uh, the, the New England area again. It's got it offshore, and we'll check the European. It's pretty similar. So both models are agreeing, for now, no nor'easter, which is the last thing our friends up there need is more snow. We'll go to Monday. Everything changes quickly. Look at that. That we got a return flow. Winds come into the south. Highs get in the upper 50s. And look at Tuesday. This is actually Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Very strong trough coming in, a short wave. A 999 millibar low is up on the Ohio River, and a batch of strong storms blowing in here on Tuesday. So you go from the, you know, the Arctic shot with a chance of snow flurries on Saturday to stormy weather Tuesday. So it goes around here. We'll check the uh, later periods. This is the 22nd, wet, 24th, wet. End of the forecast on the 27th, out there toward the end of the month. A big trough in the west, and guess what? It's still wet. Uh, you get the idea. It looks pretty unsettled for the latter part of the month. And uh, again, the GFS is suggesting unsettled in the way of rain and storms, not in the way of winter mischief. So we'll be watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, we've got our weather tour tonight. We'll be in Jasper uh, and uh, due to travel and everything involving that, there'll be no afternoon video today. We'll go back to the two-a-day schedule, uh, I think, tomorrow. Uh, basically, I'm live almost every night this week with things going on, but I think we'll be back to the two-a-day tomorrow. But one way or the other, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 if you can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.